Today I'm joined with Dr. Cardenas and she works for a podiatry care specialist mm -hmm. and we're going to talk to you about Achilles tendonitis. With the weather getting warmer, a lot of people are walking and running more and this will lead to some injuries in your foot and ankle, one of them being Achilles tendonitis. So Dr. Cardenas, why don't you tell us about the pathology of Achilles tendonitis? Okay, so this is the Achilles tendon. It is a tendon that forms from the conjunction of the two muscles in the calf and it helps us propel through the gait cycle when we walk. Achilles tendonitis is the cause of when the muscle is really tight and there is a muscle imbalance, the tendon and also the surrounding structures are inflamed. What happens with this inflammation if, it's, if it becomes chronic is that there could be a ser serious disability and eventually rupture. That is why it is very important to see your physical therapist, see your doctor if you are experiencing any discomfort in this area. So thank you for explaining what Achilles tendonitis is. Now I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do at home to treat Achilles tendonitis. So we're going to pretend that Dr. Cardenas has Achilles tendonitis in her left foot. The first thing I'm going to show you what to do is a calf stretch. Like she said earlier, there's two main muscles in your calf, so there's going to be two calf stretches. The first one, I'll have you face the wall, put your left leg behind you, yep, and then just lean forward, keeping that left leg straight, so move your hips forward. Good. So as you do this, you should feel a stretch in this area. You want to hold for about 30 seconds and do that three times. The second stretch is very similar to this, but as you lean forward, you're going to bend your knee. Yeah, and just still try to keep your heel down. Perfect. You should still feel a stretch in this area. This gets that second muscle in the calf, the soleus. Perfect. So I'll be stay facing the wall for the next one. You'll have your feet even with each other. You're going to go up with both feet, so go up on your tippy toes. Take your right foot off and then slowly lower down with your left. That's perfect. This is an eccentric heel raise. You'll do about two sets of 10 for that. When it comes to any sort of tendonitis or itis, eccentric is a great exercise. So those are the three main things that I would do if you have Achilles tendonitis. You also want to practice icing and seeking out any sort of care if this pain is going on. So I hope that helps clear up any questions you have. If there's any other questions you have, be sure to leave them down below and let us know if there's anything you want us to film in the future. Bye.